Hey guys, so I just want to share with you this inventory plugin that I found that you can use on top of your WooCommerce. Um, they have this report feature in here. It's already built in, but I think this like how this report system works is kind of limited and yeah i just really want to have the feature where i can set up the suppliers and i can also track the inventory of the stocks coming in and coming out and i think the report i mean the report system the built-in reports feature in woocommerce doesn't have that although it has a stock tab where you can see the the low in stock out of stock and a lot more but but there's no other features like I, I want to see the suppliers at the same time so the plugin that i found is called autumn inventory this is the plugin and i'm going to show with you how this works how you can tie up the autumn inventory into your woocommerce product shortly but yeah um to install this one you go into the plugin and go into the add new section well you can search in the autumn inventory in the um plugin repository but for some reason i'm having problem to there is a glitch with the um with the latest version so i downloaded or i use the old version of the autumn inventory and yeah how you can download the older version you need to go into the repository of the autumn which is this one i'm gonna put in the link description below where you can access that but you can literally just go into the google and type in autumn inventory to see it but yeah okay so if you're having problem with um connecting the products of autumn to the woocommerce you need to download the uh, at least one old or two old uh, version of the plugin now to do to to access that part you just simply go into the advanced section on the left um side of this page go into the advanced view and go to the advanced tab and um on the bottom part you should able to see the version in here now i have a problem with 2.01 i haven't tried the 2.2 but probably there's a stability issue with this 2 one so i'd rather just to go in with um 2.0 but you can try it out i just don't want to be on the oldest date because um we won't gonna get the new features of this plugin so i installed i um use that one and you can use that by clicking the download button it will generate a zip file as you can see in here once you already have the zip file version you go into the plugin and click the upload plugin and you download the zip file and then you activate it for now i'm not yet updating it because again i'm having issue with the latest version okay so go back with the tutorial let's jump in first on how you can link the autumn inventory to your woocommerce products okay you go into the product section let's say all products and then let's say i already linked this one so let's jump in with maybe on the in stock version so Okay, and actually I already created that one as well. I already linked that one as well. Let's go into the bottom part and then go into the autumn inventory section and you type in the supplier name. I'm going to show you later how you can add up supplier by the way. So controls. Okay, and then you click apply and you click yes. So basically it will apply all the variation. If your products is a variation version or a variation product data then it will apply in all of your variations so you can see here i have different color variations these are my this is the supplier and stuff so it applies you don't need to manually put in in every variation okay now okay once you're ready to link that i'm going to update this one i would suggest that you link over um your suppliers to the products and to your autumn inventory Okay, you go back to the autumn inventory and by the way, to add a supplier, super self-explanatory, you go into the suppliers section and then you type, you put in the supplier. Okay, um, basic info or basic things you need is just to add title and supplier code if you want to. Um, you can skip this part, but if you want to be really have a detailed reports with your 
suppliers and stocks, then feel free to, to fill that out. Okay. Now on the dashboard area, you should able to add widget. And these are the available widget that you can use the current stock value, which I already added orders and promo sales and stuff. So I'm not going to add in this stuff to in here. Um, I would just like to see, actually, I don't like to see the orders, but I prefer to maybe just see the I prefer to see the orders. Um, yeah, I can remove this stuff in here and stuff in here, but obviously um, this is the dashboard thing. And then um, go into the stocked central. The stock central is more on the inventory of your items. And what I really like about the stock central is I can filter the supplier. So if I go into the, let's say Charles and Keith supplier, I can see like it will filter me out how many supplies we have, current stocks we have. We can put in the gross profit as well and low stock threshold. We haven't put that, we haven't put any information in that yet, but this kind of reporting is something that I need to um to keep me on the loop how how many stocks we have, how much stocks we need to to put in and to restock and you can see in, in here the in stock um version out stock bulk order restock status unmanaged by wheezy it means you haven't set up yet or you haven't configured yet the linking of the product and the autumn inventory okay um purchase order is just i'm not using this one but maybe you can use it for bulk orders so and yeah you probably need to yeah i haven't checked this one yet but i think you can come up with like an invoicing system in here i want you to play around with this plugin i think it would be super helpful for you to come up with detailed report with your inventory and by the way to add a supplier thing i already provide that with you guys how you can add suppliers super self-explanatory um inventory log is Let's go in. Let's click that. Hmm. Oh, I see. I think you, you can use this one for internal purposes. And you can also add some sort of like products if it has a reserve stocks or it is returned by the customers and stuff. Whoa, I really like this. I really like this. I think we can use this one. Yeah, inventory logs. Okay. Yeah. Um, for the settings, I just I think it's just for UI purpose thing. Um, yeah, it's just like UI stuff. Not super important. I don't think it's super important. I can turn that one into block, dark version. Yeah, but yeah, check this out. And on the add and per add on section, by the way, these are the sections that they have. They have these are the add ons they have so far, and I think the super help for for me maybe that we can purchase because these are paid one i believe is the excel um reports or export pro because on the stock central a pro we probably need to export the stocks that from a specific suppliers like how many stocks we have for the inbound stocks or um like yeah variables and and for the shoes and stuff so we probably need to have that um, export feature thing because in the, in the free version, it doesn't have that. And by the way, I'm using free version. So it's an awesome, awesome, awesome plugin that you need to take a look if you want or you're looking for an inventory system for your WooCommerce.